old strand. I've got the first strand up. Yeah, it's going well. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna to be doing a bit of fencing to get ready for when we turn our cows out. And uh, we'd like to take you with us. So let's get into it. How are we doing, Ryan? Not too bad. Got all the kit ready to go. Yep. In the trailer, heading out to the field. Looking good. Right, so we've just started marking out a couple posts where we think they need to be. Um, so what we're doing is literally just driving down with the uh, forklift and trailer and then taking posts off every four strides. Um, and then we'll come back and bang them all in. Right, so we've got another straining post going in. Uh, we've laid out quite a few creosote posts, um, but we've got a bit of a tree behind one. Um, so we're going to put a straining post here, which we're just going to bang in. Uh, so then it's not as fast to pull up.
Right, so you join me in the Manor 2 telehandler. Um, and basically, we've just managed to get all the posts in, press them all in. The ground's quite soft, um, so we didn't have to use the banger. I just sort of put the post banger on it and sort of pressed it in the ground. Let's get on to putting up some of the wire, um, and then it should be job done. Right, so we're ready to get our wire out now. Uh, we got Ryan having a little drink. <laughs> I'm gonna be using high tensile wire today, which has basically got these uh, extra, it's like extra, it's just really tight. It's like- it's been stretched twice. Yeah, so instead of normal barbed wire, it's been like wrapped or like stretched out twice. So it's really, really tight. So it stays tight and the fences don't go loose and it keeps the cows in. So we'll get it out and get it up. Right, so we're rolling out the barbed wire, uh, the high tensile wire, the third strand now. Oh god. Hammer's stuck. Hammer, hammer's stuck. <laughs> What's going on? What have you done? Oh, there we go, we're good to go. High tensile wire getting rolled out. Last strand of the day. Of the year, maybe. Of the of the year maybe. maybe. Don't think so. Hopefully. Well, it's quite a way down here, isn't it? <laughs> right, so I'm just gonna grab the forklift. So we're gonna use that to uh pull the uh wire up just because it's safer. Um so yeah, basically we've got the wire all laid out from there, right the way down to where they, they're stood at the minute. And then basically we're gonna attach a device on the front of the forklift um, to pull it all up. So it goes, that's it, it goes with the wire. That's it. You right? That's it. Should be all right. Second strand getting pulled up. Back in the yard now, Dad's just putting the forklift and post banger away. Um, we'll be using that tomorrow probably, most likely. I'm just washing off the boots, aren't we? Yeah. Getting everything ready to head home. And that'll be it for today. Forklift coming back out, day two. A little bit more fencing to be done. A uh, little bit of kissing gate maintenance today. Just taking the forklift up to the workshop. Um, chuck a bit of uh, equipment on. We locked the chainsaw in the workshop last night so it wasn't left in the trailer. Um, and then we'll get back out. Got the equipment, we've got post and rail for the kissing gate. Then we found a couple of rabbit holes yesterday so we've got the wire ready. Right, there we go. The first strand is uh, laid out. A bit difficult getting it behind the tree, but not too bad. Also got it behind the water trough just just there just pulling it up first strand almost there right so we're just just uh hammering in the staples i don't know if you can see on the side there 
uh, it's a barbed staple. What it does is it basically makes it harder for it to come out because it's got a bit of resistance where that's holding the sides. So instead of putting it in straight like this, uh, instead, of, instead of putting it in straight like that, what we do is turn it like that. So then when we hammer it in, if the wire does slip, it's a bit more, like it, it can't slip really. So it holds the wire more in place. Right, so the first strand is up now, and uh, down here, we put in this uh, bit of wood here, just because um, when we're pulling the wire up, this post here, we're starting to lean in a little bit. So we put that there to hopefully strengthen it a little bit, so you can see it's just a bit wonky there now. Let's get the next two strands put up. There we go, it is up, all three strands. Right, so this fence here is a barbed wire fence. Um, and we put this fence up last year and as you can see it's really gone slack the wire so that's where we put the high tensile up so Ryan's just taking the staples out so we can try and make it a little bit tighter A little adventure. Yeah. Right, so Ryan's just going to go and uh, do a little repair job over here. Job done. So we finished the the fencing now. Pretty much from that hedge up there, we put a fence which you saw in this video, right the way down to this tree. And then we've done a little bit of maintenance work on this fence here, which is the barbed wire fence right around there. Um, and it's not high tensile wire. We like high tensile wire because it's just been pulled up more, but this is all barbed wire. And like I said, instead of it uh, taking it all down, we've sort of taken the staples out and repositioned them to make the fence a bit more, more stable. So basically what we're gonna do is walk around all the kissing gates and make sure they're all working properly and there's no repairs which need doing. Getting to spring now, there's gonna be a lot of people starting to use them. This uh, gate here on the kissing gate isn't quite, quite reaching, as you can see. So the gate needs to go up. However, the, the post that goes in is uh, has had it really. So we're gonna take off this, we've already started, take, uh, take these staples out, get this off take the gate off then we've got another strainer in there I'm gonna put a round one in because then we don't have to dig a hole slot it straight in there where the old post was um, put the hinges back in hang the gate and then uh, hopefully it should should work nicely then expose the post now so pretty much we're ready to get these hinges off and then we can lift the post out and get a round one in. It'll probably be a round one like this. Uh, we prefer the round post to be honest. The square ones do look nicer, but um, so much easier to maintain and look after this uh, round ones. Right, so the old and rotten post is now out. So we can put the new post in the same hole.
Right, okay, so we're now done on this kissing gate. Um, as you can see, we've put this new post in. Um, we put uh, the pins back in, one there and one down here. Uh, this spring on to make the gate shut, so um, make sure we keep the cows in uh, when people walk through. We've done the rabbit wire all, all up. Um, we've also put a new rail in, because this one up here was a bit more, a bit rotten. Signs up, very important, so people don't walk around the field. Just left the right foot bar. Uh, we've scraped out the, the floor in here, so it's a bit more easier for people in wheelchairs and stuff. And then we've also, because of our spring, it shuts really nicely now, this gate. Just like that. Make sure no cows get out, so. There's Ryan, you okay, Ryan? <laughs> Heading down um, to do the rest of the kissing gates now. This one over here took us quite a while to do. So we're a bit behind schedule, to be honest. Um, took quite a long time. So we'll just try to get everything else done and we'll show you what we got up to. So we got the rabbit, rabbit netting in the ground. We're just sort of clipping it up now, tying it into the other wire. So we filled the soil in the ground. Now Ryan's just here clipping up the wire uh, with this little tool. Keeps the wire attached to the existing wire. Pretty much what's happened there's been a rabbit that's dug through here and uh chewed through the rabbit fence and they managed to get through so we're just sort of patching it up right okay so that's going to do it for today's video guys and we've got the kit and we're heading back to the yard so yeah we're hopefully gonna post every every wednesday um let us know if you sort of like this format um if we do post the video it'll be on a wednesday uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the fencing done to be honest. That's the end of today's video. Yeah. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.